What's up everybody, Evil Rabbit here, Torque Drift, E92 Drift Build, what more is there to say? Let's get to it. All right, so we're going to take a look at the E92 drift build, but we're going to get some tandems with it first. We're going to drive it, and then we will get a look at the settings and see what we can actually do right now. We got Formula Drift Mont, uh, Monroe, Abzu West Formula Drift, and we got the slab. Can we run this one? We're 400. Oh, we're just shy. We can't run Monroe. Well, that's disappointing. We don't have enough power to run Monroe. So, unfortunately... We won't run Monroe. So we'll go take the captain's hook at the slab. Definitely a fun track. Very hard track if you don't want to uh, make a big mistake and hit the wall. So we're going to see if we can't find anybody. So Torque Drift coming to PC soon. Definitely going to be doing a lot more on PC and uh, live streams and stuff like that. 1,000 horsepower. We're at a bit of a deficit. So we got a little bit of a hill to climb here in the 92. But I think we can do it. As long as I can stay off the wall and we can not rip it into the barriers. I realize I adjust my audio a little bit. I feel like I was a little bit loud for you guys. Maybe I'm blowing your eardrums. So let's take this out. Clement in second. Chicken in third. I feel like we're going to go into fourth. Throw it in. Oh. Uh, I went a little bit too early. Definitely went a little bit too early on that. Unfortunately, that is going to be a bad run. I feel like we probably should have stayed in third, too. So, unfortunately, we went way too soon. And uh, we're only 46 to 67. So, I doubt we're going to be able to make that up in the chase. So, we're probably going to take a loss here in this run. But I did put a new ECU and a new diff in here, so not entirely sure. First run out with this stuff, I feel like we should probably just stay in third. Yep, third was where we needed to stay. Cutting that very short. Uh, oh, he hit the wall too. Oh, I should have hit the brakes instead of handbrake. But unfortunately, like I said, we're probably going to take a loss for this one. So third gear is where we really need it to be. But maybe fourth upshift. So we did lose. We're trying to redeem myself. We're going to see if he'll give me a redemption run. I doubt it. Not going to happen. He left. He said, nope, I beat you once. I don't want to go against you again. So we'll see who else we can find here. For this another thousand horsepower s14 we got a bunch of uphill battles here with the z92 here today sadly we don't have a lot of power in it yet we'll get there my torque is outmatched for my engine apparently and my power you know in a import rb and i don't have enough power well let's see what we can do against this green 14 we're gonna want to probably stay in third it seemed like that did work. Throw it in third. Kick it in probably way too soon again. Oh, I kind of clutch kicks. Got scared. Thought I was going to run into that wall, so we did miss all those beginning clips with the clutch kick. But we can somewhat save the last part of the run. So with having the clutch kick out, I still feel like that was a very respectable run. 67 to 17. So, Brittany, unfortunately, they hit the wall in that 14, I'm going to guess. And I'm thinking they're just going to go dip and not want to go again. Captain's Hook, definitely a very interesting track to run. They did dip. They said, nope. Oh, all right, we'll go rematch. They probably messed up. And uh, we're like, I can do better than that. So let's do better than we just did kick it in a little bit later 
There we go. Much better. We're gonna miss that one, but we'll bring it back out to these ones. Much better run. I got scared. I clutch kicked it out. Oh. So, a little bit better. Not the perfect. But, 85. Let's see what Brittany's got. A41. So, we did best that run again. We are going to get to chase. We're going to get to see what happened. I bet you into the barriers. That's usually what happens when there's that low of a score. Here at, like, Captain's Hook. Kind of a double initiation, unfortunately. Yep. Oh, okay, I thought you were going into the wall. I was wrong. I, whoa, huge glitch. I think they actually did hit the wall. So I think we'll take the W for that one. So it's nice to get at least one W. GG though. Ready? GG. P92 slowly getting better. The BMW is back. A46, one of my best cars. Fortunately, I lost it. I made the mistake and got rid of it by mistake and all my other cars. Wow. Oh, it switched it up. So we got Desert Palm, we got the Jump, and we got Tunnel Edge. So, you know we're going to go to Tunnel Edge. I love the Tunnel Edge track. Definitely a very... All right, so I accidentally unplugged my microphone. I hit the snowball mic and unplugged it. Rip on my part. Like I was saying, Tunnel Edge, definitely a fun track to get tandems with. Definitely a very amazing track when you get it right. Looks like we're going against. Looks like we got some uh, messages from the TUS Gaza going on. Probably looking for some Masato fun. So we're going against a very, very big bodied car. So let's see what we can do. E92, third gear, kick it in. Probably gonna stay third. Turn it that way. A little bit early on that, but kind of clutch kicked it to save it. We're not gonna have the speed. Wow, huge glitch on my phone. My battery must be almost dead because, well, Usually when that happens, running guardrails, running bumpers on the guardrail, I'll take it. With that glitch, still running guardrails though. That was a pretty solid uh, bumper drag if I do say so myself. 129 to 102. Definitely going to have to throw down a good chase to make sure we keep our advantage. Phone's getting a little warm, I think it's because I had it doing a lot of stuff on it before I started recording. So I will be excited when torture comes to PC, when I won't have to worry about my phone overheating. After I do a lot of stuff with it and then try and record some content. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Rip on that chase. That was not the right thing to do. Somewhat composing ourselves and bringing it back to the latter part of the track. Oh, kind of slowing down more than I thought he was going to slow down there. Oof, this has been FDA I would have lost because, well, I didn't follow him like a moving clip. We're still going to take the win. So, we going to run one more. On Tunnel Edge and see if we can't get another solid run. Then we'll go take a look at the settings of the car. So you guys can see what I'm running with right now, suspension-wise, Ackerman, and everything like that. And then we're going to continue building this car up to get it even higher so that we can get back to uh, running rails with our uh, BMW and here on Torque Drift. So we're going to try and get a good initiation. Initiate right on the wall. Kick it out right on that guardrail. Hang it out here. Oh my gosh, 
huge glitch on my phone. Oh, and I did not link that how I wanted to. Rip to my phone on that one. Caused me kind of get a little wonky offline, but we didn't wreck. So I'll take that as a decent thing. We didn't wreck when the game froze up. So that's good. We did bang a 122 still to a 56. So I think we will still take the win on this one. I'm wondering why my phone is glitching right now. Definitely gonna wanna take a look. It's probably because it's it's warm. Like I said, I was doing some stuff with it before. I was uh, checking the YouTube feed, checking the Instagram and stuff before I started recording. My phone was on unlock for a good hour or so before I started this recording. Oh gosh. Into the wall we go. Gotta catch him now. Oh. Coming over Orthodox line. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So definitely think either there's an issue with my phone right now or the game. So if you guys are having the same issue, let me know down in the comments if you're getting these huge frame glitches and stuff like that. Let me know because I'd be very curious if I'm the only one having this right now. Like if it is my phone or if maybe it's the game. I know my phone is very warm. So let's go take a look at the actual settings of the car. Let the phone cool a little bit. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. So we have for our engine we're rocking that forced RB26. And then we have a factory exhaust which I oh, Oh, so I can I did unlock a custom another exhaust so we'll put that on there increase our power a little bit more ECU we're rocking that links all the way up we're gonna increase the torque up and rev limiter up so those are all the way up now it's probably what I needed to do to run that fourth gear and boost we are running 11 pounds of boost so for the most important stuff right now we are still only running an import suspension we're running 57 degrees Negative five, negative one, three, two, and five, five in the front for caster. And as for suspension, we got to get some new suspension on here. 13, 15. And then for the rear, we're rocking 65 and four and four. I probably want to change my final drive. Probably going to drop that to a four, one. For rear, we're rocking 0.5 positive. We should be running some negative, but I do like how the car handles, so we're going to leave it at that. 164. So for rear suspension, it is actually 13 and 12. So this is where we're sitting at right now. Next episode, the car is going to be a lot more powerful, a lot more upgrades on it. So if you guys keep wanting to see the E92 build, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.